right, so we do know the TSA screened more than 1.3 million people just yesterday, and more, that's more than any other day from the start of the pandemic. And this means somewhere around 17 million people were screened at TSA checkpoints for this entire holiday travel season. We're talking December 18th through yesterday, January 3rd. So what kind of impact is this going to have? You know, Elizabeth, we started this broadcast by you pointing out that we had 300,000 new cases, confirmed cases. Remember, that's an underestimate by a factor of four or five. So what that means is we had over a million new cases a day yesterday, and this has been happening all through the month of December. And what it means, practically speaking, is all those people going through airports and bus stations and train stations, they're all a high percentage of people that they're seeing are infected with COVID-19. So anytime you go into a public place where there's lots of people, there's a high likelihood that at least one, probably multiple will have COVID-19. And so what this means is that we are just accelerating transmission. We are we are in free fall right now. You know, when you're talking about a million new cases a day, and that's how we're getting to those, that screaming high death rate, right, of 3,000 deaths a day. Right now, COVID-19 is the single leading cause of death in America on a daily basis. And this is going to continue for the foreseeable future until somehow we can uh, get people to do that social distancing, not not gather together. I know it's hard and, and wear face masks, but th that is the reality. And, you know, because we've had no national control program, we've sort of lost all of our options. Our last option left is to vaccinate our way through it. And that's not going as well as we'd like either. So this is, you know, as bad as 2020 is, it's still going to be pretty bad for the first half of this year.